Hi, my name is Loy Macedo. I am an Indian passport holder based in Thailand. I specialize in personal branding as I help people achieve their goals and become the best in the world at what they do. I've been an athlete throughout my life. I always love playing, I always love games. I started my career into as a hobby into bodybuilding, then moved into powerlifting, but eventually couldn't continue that because of joint pain. When I left that, I went into marathon running and from there I transitioned to triathlon. However, the wear and tear of my joints prevented me from actually being an athlete and then I got reduced to being on a desk. And once you get married and you have your other priorities in life, sports is the last thing on your mind. I couldn't go to the gym because my joints ached. I couldn't run because I couldn't carry my body weight. And very soon I realized my waist, which was really slim, started gaining shape of being round. And that is where I tried crash course diets. I tried every diet you can think of eventually getting even more heavier in the process. And that is where I, I understood that if I had to survive, if I had to be with my wife, my children and my family disease free, I had to do something drastic. I went for a blood test and I found out to my shock and horror that I was di going to be diabetic as borderline, borderline having blood pressure and my cholesterol was skyrocketing. And uh, given my family history that everyone after the age of 40 nearly moved into that uh, realm, I, I knew I had to take something drastic. So that is where my hunt and my search for um, surgery began. Over here, you have so many doctors in India. I mean, India is filled with some of the world's best doctors. I searched the top 20 and I, I found a list, but I was not very comfortable because most of them were really commercial. They looked like more like stars and less like doctors. And so I followed the time old tradition of asking a friend for a reference. And to my surprise, all the names led to one single hospital. And that one single hospital's name was Silver Line, based in Kerala. When I asked my best friend as to why did he, why did he recommend this hospital, he gave me an answer I would never forget. He said, Loy, I entrusted my mother to Silver Line Hospital. I entrusted her in the able hands of Dr. Tom. For me, there is no greater endorsement than to know that someone that you love, your family, the most important person you can entrust in a stranger's hands. And for me, that was enough conviction. So what I did, so I still played the devil's advocate. I called the doctor. I asked him the same standard questions I asked all other 20, the topmost 20 doctors in India. I asked Dr. Tom the very same questions. And to my surprise, he gave me not only the same answer, he gave me options and he told me something different. He said, let's not go for the surgery first. Let's find out maybe you can do without the surgery. And that is where I realized Silverline Hospital and Dr. Tom they stand for not making money, but they stand for taking care of your health. Because I never spoke to any other doctor who told me, don't go in for the surgery. Let's have an alternate way of keeping you healthy. And that is where my relationship began, just on email, on phone, without even paying him any money, just asking for his advice. And that is where I realized, this is the hospital I need to entrust my body. Because I need you to understand something. When you go for a surgery, you're unconscious. You do not know who's cutting your body. You do not know what they're putting in. You do not know even if they made a mistake. There have been enough horror stories on the internet of failures. So I needed to know if I give my body, if I give my complete life into the hands of a doctor, he will take care of it as if it were his own. And that brought me all the way from Thailand, all the way from all the top 20 doctors in India who are rated the best in the world, to Silver Line Hospital and to Dr. Tom. Once I came to the hospital, I'll tell you this was more like family. No other doctor, no other hospital made me feel like it was family. No other hospital gave me the environment where everyone came up to me and asked me, yes, can I help you? Can I genuinely take care of you? They never put any restrictions on me being myself. I could joke around, I could talk to them, I could be myself. In fact, I, I just walked around to every department asking questions, nobody stopped me. That kind of love, that kind of integrity, that kind of leadership, I've never seen in any other place. And mind you, I'm a personal branding strategist. I'm rated as one of the best in the world. And if my, my words mean a lot to me, more than life itself, then I can tell you without a doubt, 
Silver Line Hospital, situated in Kochi, in Kerala, in India, is the mark of being the best in the world. And under the leadership of a person like Dr. Tom Babu, you can entrust the life of each and every person in your family and be rest assured it's not money, but it's their life that they will give you back in return. Lois here today in our endoscopic suite to undergo what I call a very important part of the pre-operative workup for bariatric surgery, which is the endoscopy. Now, why do we need to do an endoscopy or why does it become so important? It's because we want to make sure that the stomach does not have what we call polyps or it the, the, uh, does not exist any forms of gastritis. Sometimes we see erosive gastritis as well where these gastric ulcers can be seen bleeding etc. So when we do the endoscopy we make sure that the polyps and that the stomach as such is free of any ulcers for smooth conduct of the surgery. <laughs>